So I start by going into filter and then liquify. Um, then I use a zoom button to go into the area that I want to work on. Um, I then go to the forward warp tool. Um, make sure it's a large enough brush um, because if it's a smaller brush and you're pushing, you'll, you won't get a smooth line. You'll get all these little warpiness. So, and then I just kind of start pushing it in so it just kind of looks a little bit more natural. Um, you can do as much or as little of this as you want. Um, and really because the background is so blurred out, um, you really don't have to worry about um, affecting the look of that. If there was stuff going on in the background, then you'd have to be really careful about if there was a person because you could really make them look warped out. Um, to fix that kind of thing, what you would do is say, for example, we could make her hair uh, a little bit bigger. Um, you'd use this freeze mask tool to like freeze her face because we don't want to distort it at all while we're working on her hair. And then you would go to the bloat tool and then you can start making her hair bigger and you notice it's not affecting the face shape 